What are you doing to prepare at nine months pregnant for this thing that will completely change the trajectory of your life or, you know, have you going back to the corporate world? Yeah, I mean, we practiced our pitch probably 5,000 times. You had to do where you practice for the producers and they do a rigorous background check, make sure you're not like a felon or anything crazy like that. But I do think that throughout the process, we just learned and got really comfortable with being in front of the camera and on TV and doing all, all of that, which comes into play later on, which is amazing. But I think we got the call two weeks before and they were like, you're gonna be on the show and we need you on at this date. And they tell you they have multiple recordings. And I was like on the last one, I was like, hello, nine months pregnant. I literally had the ten, baby 10 days after I went on the show. But I was very determined, doctor approved it, went on. And when you walked into the tank, were you able to have enough presence to, you know, look at them as individuals and really be present? Or were you just so focused on your pitch and a little bit overawed by the whole thing? My poor husband, he has a sweaty, like, upper lip and you can see it coming down. He's just like, never live it down. That's like, all you can ever think about. And I'm like, <laughs> we got a deal. Like, who cares? Yeah. It's tough because you have five people yelling at you. It is a TV show at the end of the day. So it's like this interesting position that you're in where you're like, this could change my life, but also this is a TV show. But the producer everything was so wonderful through it and everybody as we were on started going out and then it came down to the end which it came down to Rohan Oza and how much did you know about Rohan beforehand nothing so they didn't tell us who the judges were until the night before I knew he had been like a guest shark but like you don't know producers want you to get a deal they want you to be successful they don't tell us but they were trying to match us up with a beverage guy a couple other sharks were like looking at him like do you want to go in on a deal do you like this and he was like no 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 because in his head he told us afterwards he's like I want this for myself um, and so they all went out and then he came back in and was like I want to give you guys a deal incredible that he could see the the vision there I'm sure he's the best guy in the world in terms of beverage he's stru structured well like smart water and vitamin water with 50 cent he's done some of the biggest brand deals mm -hmm. of all time he is absolutely the right guy if not maybe the only shark tank who could understand the vision and 100 yeah. he told us this afterwards he goes this is going to be the biggest shark tank deal in history and we are on that path for that to happen and his nickname is called the brand father and he just sees things so differently within the marketing and the sizzle world and yeah he was one of the first people to do big celebrity deals from 50 Cent, Vitamin Water, and Justin Timberlake, and Bai. He had a traditional background. He worked at Coke. He worked on Sprite. And now he's just part of some of the most iconic Better For You brands as well. So he is very involved in Poppy. He's on our board. I'm, we do monthly sessions with him. That's the beauty of him versus some of the other sharks. He probably has hundred, hundreds of deals and has a team. Like, I think Ro has two Shark Tank deals, and we're the only food and bev. So we get a lot of his time, How? good or bad. <laughs>